first thing that you need to do to become a software developer is the data structures and algorithms in the industry you have to basically develop the things you have to do web development you have to do android development you have to do machine learning right you are able to work on the best laptops in the market like macbooks not for the show but to actually do a high scale development Welcome to the Coding Ninjas YouTube channel. Myself is Shesh. I will be taking you through this video of how to become a software developer. And we will be discussing like what are the requirements, what are the skills that we need to develop, and how we can develop that those skills, what are the roles available in this industry, and what are the perks of being a software developer. So, guys, if you like this video, then comment, like, share and subscribe to the coding ninjas channel for more such amazing content so without wasting more time let's begin so guys first question is that whether you can enter into this field lot of people ask like they have not done programming they are economics graduates they are low graduates but they want to enter into the software industry looking at the perks of being a software developer so guys the answer is yes you can enter into the software industry it's not like that you will be getting one crore jobs but yes decent jobs are available in this industry since every business is going online automation is taking place so basically lot of jobs are there in this industry you can definitely take up any of the software developer roles available in this industry so guys but before before any taking up any role you are a fresher right you are entering into the software industry for the first time so before before you will be tested upon any of the roles specific roles you will be first tested upon the problem solving skills they will test whether you are whether you can solve a problem how you think of a solution to a problem how you can how you try to optimize it suppose you think of a solution to a problem right it takes up more time than the other solution so how you try to optimize this so basically you will be tested upon data structures and algorithm skills first then the particular role right so first thing that you need to do to become a software developer is the data structures and algorithms basically you need to improve the problem solving skills so guys how you can improve data structures and algorithms and how you can do so there are amazing courses available on coding ninjas website like c++ python and java right so you can take up any of those courses to to basically learn data structures and algorithms they will teach you from very basic till the very much thing that is required right so you can take up any of that course or you can learn from youtube also or any free resource available on internet but dsa is the first thing that you need to do and then then you need since i am assuming that most of the people are not computer science graduates so they are they are they may not have done the computer science core subjects like object oriented programming operating system dbms computer networks they are not basically acquainted with these subjects so they need to learn learn about these subjects as well so from where you can learn see on code studio we have a guided paths for you for each of these subjects you can visit their code studio has basically a lot of interview problems interview experiences and guided paths to basically make you learn all these topics so so code studio has guided path for operating system for computer networks for dbms so so you can visit there to learn about this computer science core subjects and you can do anything else also so the first thing is the dsa and the second thing is the computer science core subjects now some people get very interested in the problem solving right like they are very interested in solving the problems based on data structures and algorithms therefore they enter into the competitive programming now it's really your wish whether you want to enter into competitive programming or not so problem solving skills up to some level is required so that you can develop using code studio problems or lead code problems as well but for more advanced problem solving skills people do competitive programming that you can do also right now after after doing dsa computer science core subjects and competitive programming if you wish you have to enter into the real 
basically software engineer world so in the industry you will be right it is right that you will be tested upon problem solving skills but in the industry you have to basically develop the things you have to do web development you have to do android development you have to do machine learning right so there are let me first mention what are the roles available in this industry so you can become front end developer you can become back end developer you can become full stack developer there are various roles other roles like data scientist qa engineers and c++ developer python developer there are various roles available in this industry so see you have the basics right dsa computer science core subjects now you have to do something in the development also you can take you can basically decide i will be applying for a particular role like front end yeah or full stack developer or app developer or app developer right so you should be prepared for that also so you can do any development course like android development web development and you can learn how to develop things right you can develop some real life projects as well to showcase those projects in your resume to better reflect that you are a good candidate for that particular role so you need to do development also to show that you are a good guy for that particular role right so this is all about like what you need to do to enter into the software world as a beginner as a fresher right so what i have mentioned is like dsa computer science core subjects cp is your wish and then development also right now after this let me tell you what are the perks of being a software engineer see first thing is that you get well paid jobs right they are good to earn a good life and second thing is that timings are flexible in software engineering if you are productive at night then you can work at night it's not like 9 to 5 job and you 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 are able to work on the best laptops in the market like macbooks not for the show but to actually do a high scale development so these are some of the perks and one more thing you are going to learn a lot while developing apps or websites during your job it's a basically the learning curve is exponential in the software engineering you will not only work on app development web development but you will be learning about other skills like machine learning data scientist skills as well so this is very i think cool job you will be learning a lot along with your current job right so this is all about this video i hope you liked it so for more such amazing content stay subscribed to the code ninjas channel and keep supporting us So stay safe and keep learning. Thank you.